Welcome back to Season 2 of The Devil's Lair. I'm Randy Meadows, and your I'm, co-host. I'm Todd Gann, and I'm certainly glad to be back. Been a little bit of a long break there. And I think the season. technical term is hiatus. A hiatus. Or siesta, maybe. <laughs> maybe a siesta. <laughs> I don't know. So, oh, Sounds good. Well, Randy, how's everything going? Um, It's going. Well, good. I mean... Football season's almost here. Well, it's here. Football I, I season's say here. Almost here. It's here. It's here. You know, we had some scrimmage games around the state last <laughs> week, and uh, actually some games that counted last week. Sixth grade JT Reddick, they play tomorrow. And next week, the seventh grade plays sixth grade varsity. It's uh, college football. I tell you, it's football season, Randy. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm ready. It's my time of year. So, um, just a lot of big things going on this year. Oh gosh, so, yes, there is. Um, we appreciate everybody coming back with us and uh, getting the getting the ball rolling. The season kicked off, if you will, right. and um, we got some exciting things going on this year. And uh, it's going to take your help to make it all happen. Oh, so stay tuned. We got a lot coming on. Uh, to we we got our giveaway still to go. Um, we're going to kick that off during football season. Right. Uh, make sure everybody gets uh, a little something, maybe uh, a little, th- yeah, a little something. That's right. We got some things. So, uh, but uh, anyways, what else been going on? What's on with you? What's going on with you? Well, How's everything with you? You know, everything's been good. Uh, you know, school started back, football, and full stream, and it's just busy time of year, but it's exciting. And, uh, you know, I'm glad <coughs> we're back on the air tonight and start talking about football again. And, uh, you know, Tiff County, we, uh, we're ready to roll. Well, uh, Tiff played Monroe last weekend. That's right. Um, how would you feel about did you have any uh any any expectations for the season coming in? Well being yeah. the father of a of a player that you know, you always you have goals and stuff, obviously That's for right. your child, but but for the team for you the kinda team. have an expectation and well, what do you think after the scrimmage? You know, after the scrimmage I felt real good, you know. It um the kids look great out there on the field. I say kids, young men, they look great out there. Uh you know, Wedgeworth had an awesome game and uh, a few other kids had a you know just a tremendous showing, and I, I you know they're excited. They're excited. You know the second team or second year with John Reed here as the coach. Kids have really come together. They've practiced hard all summer. They uh, you know they've really gelled. You know I think beginning of last season before we got started, you know still had some drama and that sort of stuff. I think all that was gone this year. And, uh, they know what he wants and what he expects, and those that are still there are bought into his program, and it's going to be an exciting season. Well, I hope so. Um, <clears throat> you're talking about the drama. No matter whenever you have, uh, whenever you have parents involved in anything, there's going to be drama. Unfortunately, that's right. That's what's wrong with sports today. If I can complain about anything, that's one of my biggest gripes. But well, you know, as, as parents, we're both parents. You, you know, you. You you look after your child to a certain degree, and that's that's understandable. But sometimes you need to step aside and let the coaches do their job. Yeah, that's right. Um, that's what they're hired for. That's right. That's why they're there. So, anyways, we're not going to get into that. That's right. Hey, that's a- I, what I do want to talk about though is <clears throat> it's not drama, but it is. I don't know what the word is. Everybody is up in arms over these new helmets and <laughs> uniforms and yeah. all that kind of stuff. Well, What's your feelings? Can you yeah. elaborate on it? Well, for us? you know, you say everybody's up in arms. I haven't given it a second thought. You know, I knew they had changed the uniforms, changed the helmets. I, you know, I like the way they look. When you know, then I started hearing the, you know, some of the folks saying that, hey, you know, tradition. We can't mess with tradition. Why are we taking the T off the helmet and one one thing and another and why are we buying new uniforms? Heck, we can't even win a football game, you know. And I, I, I didn't give it a second thought. I mean, you know, if you look around the country now, I mean, that's that's kind of the going trend. I mean, every high school that you can imagine is buying new uniforms, changing the way their helmets look, what have you. Heck, you know, I can remember when they had the devil inside a helmet. So helmet, and so you know, it, it's you know, you say tradition. I, <clears throat> hey, it's changed a couple times in the past. So I, you know, it's. That's how I am, Don. You, you know, you got a new coach, and he wants to maybe put his touch on things, and that, that I'm okay with that. A lot of people love in arms because they got rid of the T. Well, they didn't get rid of it. They, they modified they it, They modified I guess. it. That's exactly right. Um, and then on one helmet, they did get rid of it and put the actual pitch for it. Right, exactly. And, you know, I like it. 
I did at too. first I was like, oh no, but then you know I saw him and I, I like I like I liked it. You liked it, and um, so I thought Hot it was diggity, a good, diggity. Yeah, <laughs> diggity, diggity. It was a it was a good touch to me. Well, you know, and I agree. You know, and, and look what it's done. People are talking about it. You know, yeah. So there you go. It's building a little excitement. You know, and people are talking about football, and I th- I think it. You know. The change did what Coach Reed had in mind. It, it's got people talking about it and get some excitement and that sort of thing and um, paying attention to football. Exactly. Um, we talked about the, the Lazy T and how it's been around for a while. And, you know, I talked to a, a mutual friend of ours right. yesterday and I told him, I said, look, man, that was our tradition. Right. These kids make their own tradition. That, and it starts here, starts now. That's exactly right. And um, it, it's it's a good thing. That's and exactly we need to right. get behind it, support it, be glad of it. Well, so. you know, and Randy, you know, you go back to tradition. I mean, you talk to these kids this day and time, you know, we knew some great players come along, but they have no idea who Ken Hobby is or players like that. That's they, right. They, don't, they have no idea. So, you know, that tradition really doesn't mean a whole lot to them. Like you say, it's time for them to build their own tradition. It, it means more to us than it does to them. Absolutely. And yeah. one day they'll be sitting here. That's exactly right. In the devil's den is what I like to call this place um, <laughs> for for um, uh, multiple reasons. <laughs> so um, <laughs> with that said, I just want to say thank you to our producer, Mr. <laughs> Donovan. He is uh, he is the best. So uh, Producer extraordinaire. Extraordinary, yep. So, exceptional. He's very exceptional. So, uh, <laughs> use that term how you want. But uh, he, uh, we, we, we sit here. You know, there might be some kids here one day, like fussing about. Man, I can't that's believe right. they're getting rid of the pitch for it. That's right. And that's exactly right. Hey, and that's okay. That's right. There's nothing hey, wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, um, you know, look at some college teams. How often do they change? You know, their schemes and what have you. So, you know, it, it's just. I wish Georgia would change. Yeah, you know. Sometimes. Sometimes. Hey, you know. As long as they're winning, who cares? Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> anyways. Well, what else we got there, Todd? Well, you know, um, got a game this Friday night. Got uh, Westover coming to town. Should be exciting. Uh, there was a good crowd last week at the scrimmage. Real good crowd. And I was pleased to, you know, turn out. And yeah, we had some rough weather last we week really going did. into the game. You know, so. it, is, it is questionable. Um, you know, they had canceled the game the previous week, so it was kind of questionable. Field, it was pretty ugly. <laughs> You know, it was it? it. It really was. But time by the time the scrimmage was over, it was it was beat up pretty bad, and uh, I think it was pretty slick. And, um, but you know, the kids actually handled it r- real well. You know, wasn't you know many missed balls and that sort of thing because of the ball being wet, what have you. It was uh, they they executed very well under the conditions that they had. What was the score, Todd? Do you have that? There? Yes, forty to twelve. Um, you know, we played three quarters with the varsity, and then fourth quarter, both coaches, I guess, agreed to put their JV in, what have you. So, um, you know, I think we wound up scoring three points in the fourth quarter, but uh, walked away with a forty to twelve victory, which was, you know, pretty pretty outstanding. You know, last season when we played Monroe here, scrimmage game, halftime they actually had to call the game because of weather, and uh, we were actually down. At half, so you know it was good to come. Some retribution, maybe. get a little retribution there, and you know, is that a word? I'm using that right, Anna. See, of course. Yeah, sounds good. And uh, I knew that. I was you know, a little redemption there. And, <laughs> yeah. And, you know, it was good to see and good to get a get a win like that, even though it's a scrimmage. Uh, give those kids some confidence going into the season. And Moreau, they're, they're not a slack team. You know. No, I've officiated a bunch of their games, and they always fight tooth yeah, and nail against Cairo for their division. They do, they do. They got a kid playing quarterback. Stafford's his last name. I, you know, Stafford being a quarterback, that's you know. Yeah, he's he's pretty good. Too. Pretty good, pretty good kid. You know, he's uh, tall and he can air it out. And yep, he sure can. So. so. They're really an athletic bunch over there. They are. They really and, are. And they play they very well. Now, Westover's going to be kind of the same, same kind look. Of, they, they will be. You know, uh, we were over there last season and played them and um, played in Hume Hill Stadium. And I can't really think of a whole lot good to say about the stadium over there. I just <laughs> apologize to you folks over at Albany if you're watching. But glad yeah. we're playing in Tifton this year. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So don't, was don't, look for a, don't look for a big uh, visiting crowd to come in. No, but, you won't. But, but I uh, expect to see the stands filled up oh, Friday Tif- night. Yeah, I, I feel like it'll be a good crowd. The weather should be awesome. And, um, you know, go out and support these kids. That's why it's – bottom line, that's what it's about. Yeah. Win, lose, or draw. Go out and support these kids. They've worked hard for a long time. Yeah, they've been working all summer. Well, they've been working for a year now. Listen, when the season finished up, 
they were back working the very next day. That's and, right. You know, a lot of kids are doing a lot of things on their own because um, that's the way you have to do it, you know. You, and, um, you know, it's uh, been a long time coming, and they're ready. They're ready to beat up on someone other than themselves. Yeah, I know. Um, you got some highlights or anything from the Monroe game? Well, you know, we wound up with about 435 yards total offense, um, you know, through the air and on the ground. A um, couple of kids. Uh, Brandon Denson had a great game running the ball. He had a couple, heard. Of, couple of big runs, you know, and a couple of uh, Wedgeworth runs were pretty doggone good. He He's not afraid to take that ball and tuck it and run if he needs to. And uh, He'll lay a lick on you too, won't he? He'll lay a lick on you, I tell you. Um, I wouldn't want to be out there on the field facing him, that's for sure. He's he's not, he's a tough kid. Yeah, tough he kid. is a tough kid. Um, you know, I think a couple of his favorite targets was Malik uh, Pittman and um, the old name just slipped me. Yeah. Yeah, it'll come to me in a minute. Uh, Boo is his nickname. I'm sorry. That's how I know him is Boo. Boo. Call him Boo. We we'll call him Boo. That's how everybody knows him. If you're but, watching uh, this show, you know who Boo that's is. That's exactly right. We don't, you know, we don't have to apologize for that. That's but, uh, exactly right. You know, that was his favorite targets throughout the evening, and um, you know, I don't know that. Uh, I think we may have had mm, two or three incompletions, but you know, most of the time, Wedgeworth. What what I liked about Wedgeworth when he's passing, he's you know anticipating where that receiver's going to be. You oh, know, yeah. and he's putting that ball where where the route's supposed to go. You know, it, the t they had the timing down. I mean, you can tell they've really been working on it. And, um, that's good. You know, that's important. You know, leading that receiver with that ball. So it, it, it looked great. It looked well, great. That's how, that's how you improve on and get those good yak numbers, yards after the catch. Absolutely. If you lead your receiver that's just exactly right. right. So, he, you know, it looked great. Offense looked great. Defense looked real good. Stephen Waters had a great game. He was in on several tackles. Um, you know, just just awesome game for Stephen. That's good. How'd our punter do? Bunner did fairly well. He had uh, had one bad snap. He had to pick it up off the ground and managed to get it off. He, he looked pretty good. So uh, well, good. hopefully he picks up where he left off last season. Yeah, he's a good-looking kid like his mama, thank goodness. Thank goodness. So. That's exactly right. Well, good. I'm so, glad. You know, um, you know, I guess another thing we could talk about, Randy, in, in the off season, uh, right before you know, we got started this year with spring, um, Ike Powell committed to Vanderbilt. You know, yeah, that's that's some awesome news right there. A kid from Tiff County being able to go to D one school like that on on a full ride too as a long snapper. So you know, certainly congratulations go out to Ike for that. And yeah, I know his family's proud of oh, him. Oh, they're absolutely proud of him, and I, I'm proud of him too. I mean, he's worked hard for that. Uh, we were up at uh, Georgia this summer and a couple different camps and met a couple kids that he's kind of competed with nationally at some different camps and. Um, you know, these kids are great and saw saw the talent he's actually competed with for a while now and um, he, he's in good company, you know. And now, Vanderbilt's not an easy school academically either. Absolutely not. <clears throat> no, you know, they're, they're pretty tough. Pretty they're, tough. They're kind of the... Uh, they're the Ivy League of the SEC. Of the SEC, yeah. They really right. are. And, um, you know, that's where he really wanted to go to school. I mean, he, he I think he kind of early on, that's where he was leaning and things worked out and I'm, I'm proud. I absolutely love their head coach yes. up there at Vanderbilt, man. James Franklin, uh -huh. he is a, a spark plug and just a fiery guy. Hey, he and, is. And, and he and makes the he gets the most out of what he has. Well, he does, and I'm going to tell you, you know, Vandy in the last few years have really come around in football. They're not the they're not the team they were as when I was growing up. It, it, oh, yeah, they were always the homecoming game. They were always the homecoming game. But They've always been played Georgia fairly tough. They really have. It's always been a good kind of not, not necessarily a rivalry between the two, but it's always been a good, you know. Two years ago, they, they should have beat Georgia. Yeah, they should you know, have. I think we kind of handled, handled them last year. That's but, right. That's exactly um, right. That it's, it, that it's a good program, yeah. and I'm glad I there. But what that also does is open up a gateway, a pipeline for, for more kids to be able to go to Vanderbilt. Absolutely, it does. You know what I mean? It kind of kind of opens the eyes to that recruiting process that's and exactly that, right. that school. That's exactly right. And uh, gets people there. So that's big for the school and big for Ike, obviously. Yeah, it is, you know. And, you know, with Ike being able to go and do that, you know, I think some Tiff County kids can kind of not piggyback on Ike, but see what he's done, kind of know the process a little bit better. And, um, you know, it, it's, um, you know, we've kind of explored it ourselves a little bit this summer, and um, it's uh, it's a big deal. It's um, Oh, yeah. It's it's a business. It's, it's strictly business. It's strictly business, and um, so we, 
the learning curve is real sharp. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Um, it's it's got to be a, a nerve wracking process going to these camps, and I mean any split second could be your second. Absolutely, you know. but it can only be that one second. Listen, you talk about fifteen minutes of fame, you got about two seconds of fame at one of these camps. Yep, and you better be on your A game. That's right. You can you can grab the uh, somebody's attention real quick, and you can get pushed away real quick. That's too, exactly so. right. You're either on the radar radar or you're not. Yeah, I mean it's just really no in betweens of these deals. Yeah, so. Well, good. I'm glad that y'all are having a good experience with that. Well, and there's other kids out there who's doing it absolutely, too. Absolutely, you know, and I, I, you know, I don't know who else is out there been doing some things like that. I'd love to maybe get some of those guys on and maybe share some of their stories, and you know, because um, there's good information to get out for folks coming along, and uh, you know, we need to try to get these kids in some colleges and represent Tiff County because we got some good kids and they deserve that opportunity and chance. They certainly do. Um, we. Uh, as a lot of you know, this show is kind of put together to kind of highlight a lot of these kids that are that are out there, and you know, maybe not for a kid. It's, it's especially for a kid like Ike Powell, but maybe a kid who who doesn't get the attention. Ike that's does, right. That's exactly know? right. Yeah. Ike deserves attention, but there's other kids out there that exactly deserve right. it too. They do. They and do. we try to bring that to right. uh, to the community and, and shed a little light on that kind of stuff. Well, you know, and Tiff County being a community, is some kids just don't have the resources other kids do. And that's where we're trying to help is, you know, like you say, get a little spotlight on some of these kids that may not necessarily get that spotlight. You yep. know, somebody like a Braylon Dixon. That's right. You know, Braylon's a great kid, you know. Um, he, he works real hard in school, works real hard on the football field. You know, a kid like Braylon, I mean, he, he deserves, you know, an opportunity. That's right. That's right. And, uh, you know, hard work will get you that opportunity. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. <clears throat> um, so we played Monroe. We got Westover this week. That's right. Um, I'm gonna go through the schedule real okay. quick. Houston County is on the sixth. Right, they're coming here. They're coming here at home. That's um, right. And that was a big win for Tiff County last year up there. So certainly, you know, Houston, you know, it, they're coming here. They want probably a little revenge. So it may be yeah. a tough game. We don't, you know. I'm gonna go back and talk about Friday night's game. Friday night's game is also public safety night. So That's exactly they're gonna right. recognize the public safety uh, civil servants. That's I right. Mean, what do you, civil service? Folks that are in public, public safety, safety you know, yeah. EMS, fire, police, what have you, and you know, I, I, if you come to the game and you got your credentials with you, they'll let you in for free. That's right. That's right. <clears throat> um, next week, Houston County, that's going to be youth football night. So Good. Great. That should be another that should a be huge, huge night. crowd. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Huge crowd. <clears throat> then we go on the road to Worth County. Right. Exactly. Um, I don't know, man. They got a new coach over there, so yeah. I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. Um, I heard the coach at the uh, men's event. Um, you know he's he's pretty fired up, and um, you know I don't know what to expect from him. I mean, Worth always plays Tiff County pretty hard. They hard nosed football over there, and uh, it should be a competitive game for sure. Yep. So hopefully we'll be undefeated going into this next game, and that's going to be TCC. Ooh, I tell you, that's going to be down in Thomasville. That's exactly. going to be a big, big that's game. That's going to be a huge game. <clears throat> yeah, I love going down there to that stadium. I don't know why. It's just I, I think it's just kind of nostalgic. You know, it's, it reminds you of the old high school football stadiums that around South Georgia for many years, and kind of yeah. You know, it's it's kind of really what South Georgia football is all about. You know, um, I do. It, it's kind of a neat place to go. Um, and it's going to be a tough, tough night. Yeah, it is. Um, one thing's for sure, if you want to rob a bank in Thomasville, let, <laughs> let Thomas County Central be playing. That's the night to do it. That's so. exactly right. I agree. <clears throat> so after that, we'll have coffee at home, mm -hmm. which is middle school football night. Okay. Um, another really big night. Right. The middle school team went to Camden and yeah. moved up on the Camden Wildcats. That's right. Uh, That's exactly last right. weekend, wasn't it? It's, so two weekends two, ago. Two weekends ago. Yeah. Uh, Seventh grade and eighth grade, both. Yeah, both of them went over there and, and took care of business. That's so, right. That's exactly right. Um, good signs coming out of that middle school oh, yeah. football. They'll be recognized on the 27th right. of September. Right. So a big night there. Just make sure you're all there. Um, after that, um, you know, I anticipate us beating coffee. You know, I, they I, lost their quarterback. They did. Sure mm -hmm. did. Um, and um, so we should be undefeated going into this October 4th game against uh, some team called Col Colquitt. Col Is that it? Colquitt, oh, I'm sorry, Colquitt County Packers. Packers, oh yeah, them folks down there. They're pretty daggum good. <laughs> they are pretty daggum good. <laughs> they handled business Saturday Listen, against, uh, I forgot who they played. They played, uh, no, let's see, who did they play? 
I had it up earlier. I, you know, it wasn't Norcross. Norcross got destroyed. Norcross got destroyed. They played Grayson. Grayson. They played they Grayson, did. and they pretty well handled them. And uh, yeah, that that Rush Pro has got that program down there, just just snowballing. You know, it just keeps rolling, keeps rolling, keeps rolling. And you know, and I got a good friend. I'm gonna give a shout out to Liz Savage, band director down there. Um, she's she's built a heck of a program down there too. And I'm gonna give a shout out to Liz, former teacher here in Tiff County, band director. And um, they carried six buses of band students to the Dome this past weekend. Wow. Six buses. So, Liz, I'm not sure if you're watching you and Aaron, but, you know, great job. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. So, um, after that, we got on October the 11th, we got a uh, homecoming game. Right. Um, against Camden. Yeah. <laughs> wow, homecoming yeah. against Camden. I don't know if that's but good But, you know, bad. they got beat this past weekend. They and, did. You know, by North Gwinnett. By North Gwinnett. And I didn't watch that game. I watched some of the games off and on. And, mm. you know, so a couple of folks I've talked to said that Camden did not look that great. So, but you listen. Hey, we early in the season. That, They'll have a few games under their belt you know, by then. That's exactly right. And, and you know, new coach this season, Coach Heron, left. Um, they, the guy that I believe was a defensive coordinator, they actually promoted him to the head coach. So he's, you know, been around, part of the program. So they probably won't miss a beat. Nah, they'll still be tough. That's exactly right. Then we go on the road for two games. We got Valdosta and then Lowndes. And then Lowndes. We got to go down there twice. That's going to be tough. It is. You but know. we should be firing on all cylinders Absolutely. by then and ready Absolutely. for them. You know, I so. hadn't, hadn't heard a lot out of Valdosta nor Lowndes. You know, they always kind of keep to themselves, kind of quiet. And, you know, uh, Randy Mack will have his team ready, no doubt. And, um, you know, Valdosta, they're always tough, too. And Gillespie, you know, he's done a pretty good job down there with those guys. So um, they'll be stout. I wonder, if, I wonder if Gillespie's on the hot seat down there. You know, I, you know how they are down there, man. You know how they are. <laughs> you, you know, but you, usually you hear some rumblings if somebody's on the hot seat. And I really hadn't heard any rumblings. I think they like Gillespie down there. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think they should. But. I think they like him, you know. And I, I think it goes back to a little bit of tradition. You know, they've had that tradition, rich tradition of win, 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 win. And you know, I think some folks have finally said, "Hey, look, times have changed a little bit. You know, kids have changed a little bit, communities changed a little bit." Yeah, maybe we got to give a guy a little bit more of a chance than what we used to. So. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I hope so. I like Gillespie. He's all right to yeah, me. Yeah, exactly, so. exactly. Um, we have an off week, and then we have senior night at home on the 8th of November. All right, and Brunswick Pirates come the to town. The Brunswick Pirates That's come exactly to town. Right. So, so who knows what Brunswick's going to well, have. Well, you know, hopefully it'll be a shipwreck for them that night. <laughs> That's all I can say. <laughs> Uh, really? And yep. Here we go with the corny jokes already. <laughs> Donovan's not even paying attention to us. That's okay, though. That's fine. He's like, y'all hurry up, please. <laughs> um, so, Brunswick's our final game of the regular final season. Final game, you know, and uh, we went over there last season really anticipating a big win and came away tucking our tails. So, uh, we'll certainly have some revenge in our heads for that game, you know. And I, I'm excited about this season. It's, uh, I think it's going to be good at one thing from last season, you know, every game we played, the kids played all four quarters. They never gave up. Fought, fought, fought. You know, didn't show on the scoreboard at the end of every game, but they played their hearts out, and I think that, you know, I think that's just going to carry on over into the season. Yeah, me too. They're going to be, uh, they're going to be ready to play this year, Absolutely. and hopefully, we will uh, all be in a in a better place as far as. That's support, right. you know, not that we were bad last year. Let no. me take that back, man. That's unfair for me to say. That's right. And people might take that wrong. I don't mean it the way it sounds, but we we didn't know which way we were going with uh, Coach Reed, and you know, we needed support behind him. And thank goodness we ended up getting getting that support, right? Exactly. And giving that support. That's exactly so, right. um, so kudos to our community. Absolutely, you know, and and, and it's a, it's an effort for everybody. To, you know, everyone needs to come together, coaches players, parents, community, to make it a success. You know, kids and coaches are going to only do so much. They yeah. need that support to, you know, be successful, like build that program. You know, it takes it takes everybody. It takes a whole village. It takes a whole village. That's exactly right. But, uh, you know, Coach Reed, you know, he's kind of reached out to the community some, you know. He 
off season this summer. You know, had the Farmers for Football program for the kids. I think third through sixth grade, and that was a huge. Todd, can success. you explain the Farmers for Football program a little bit? Sure. What it was was you know an idea that Coach Reed came up. We were sitting around in the Booster Club meeting one evening, and um, that's one of the ideas that came about was Farmers for Football. And in a nutshell, what he wanted to do was every kid third through sixth grade want to give them an opportunity to come out to a camp setting through the recreation department, brought them on board as well, wanted to, you know, work together with them, and uh, had the farming community sponsor this. And uh, gave all the kids a t-shirt, fed them a snack each day, and golly, I don't forget how many kids they had each day, but it was a phenomenal number of kids. Um, and they brought some tractors out for the kids to see and crawl on and what have you. And, um, the varsity coaches were out there working with the kids. Some of the players were out there working with the kids. Some of the coaches' wives, cheerleaders, what have you. It was a big event, big event, and very successful. So I'm sure we'll see something like that again this summer. And um, you know, Coach Rita, he actually, I, you know, throughout the recreation department season last year, he would come out from time to time. Um, when it got time for the All-Star teams, he actually came out to several of the practices and some of the games. So. You know, he, he's trying to build that program all the way down through the recreation department, and, that, and that's what it takes. That's right. A lot of these teams that come in and play, um, like, say, Turkey Bowl and whatnot, they, they run the offense the high school does, Absolutely. most of them. Most of them do, mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, you know, that's the direction he's trying to head, and, you know, it, it's certainly something that can't be done in a year's time, two years' time. It, it takes time, and I think that's what we've got to do. We've got to give this guy a chance. I agree. I agree totally. Um, well, good. Is there any other fundraisers you know of going on with uh, football? Well, you know, you could always join the Butcher Club. Just $25 to do that. And, good deal. You know, it's money well spent. Um, you know, I'm sure there'll be some uh, other opportunities coming along. I know last year they had the opportunity to win a golf cart in a trailer. They you know, raffled that off, and I, I think they're going to do that again this season. I hadn't really heard. Yeah. I know they're doing Boston Butts again this year. Um, you know, had they had a golf tournament, was pretty successful. Yeah. So, um, bringing back Blue Book this year. Yeah, Blue Book. That's pretty big. Yeah, it's real big. And Randy kind of explained that a little bit. Um, back when you and I kind of came along, they had a program. I, I know it's only been a couple of years. Um, they, had yes. the, they, they had the programs each Friday night. And um, the programs actually had a little bit of football history in it from past seasons and <clears throat> stats on players, player spotlights, and that sort of thing. And the rosters were in there for not only Tiff Kenny's team, but whatever team we're opposing will be in there as well. And, um, you know, kind of they brought that back this year and want to revamp that. And um, I think it's going to be great. I, you know, I don't, I'm not sure what price they settled on to settle them at at each game. I think they were talking around the $3 range, you know, because it will be a different program each year, each, right. each game. So, um, you know, that's going to be big this season, real big. Yeah, and, good. Buy as many as you can every time you go. Absolutely. And every kid that plays on the football team will have <clears throat> this picture in there individually and then, of course, their group pictures. That is awesome. That's, so, it, you know, it's going to be a great deal. Yeah, that is. Every kid needs to be recognized. Every kid so. needs to be recognized. Um, I, I'm sure that they, they've got something going on in these programs. I know back in the day they used to stamp them with that's something. That's exactly right. You win prizes, that kind of stuff. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, I you don't know, know. Buy one to support the program, but then you might win something that's in return. That's exactly right. So. You know, and I'm not sure if they're going to do that, but I'll find out. I'm sure they will. I'm, I'm, I'm certain of it. So I know the person to call. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I talked to him yesterday. So. Um, anyways, well, good, 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 good. What else we got? Well, you know, uh, football season's here. Um, you know, school started back, volleyball, and they've cranked up a volleyball team at the high school. They have had a couple of matches, I believe. I don't know really how well they're doing. I know they're kind of getting off the ground there. And yeah, um, we need to get some information on them. I haven't seen or heard anything. Not I really. I haven't a lot. It's um, not big down here. It's yet. not. Not yet, but. Um, We're going to get it there. It's up and coming. Um, so, you know, it's, it's fall sports, you know, things are getting cranked up. And, won't be long. We'll uh, we'll be deep into the football season, looking at some playoff pictures and scenarios, and that's right. Starting to talk about other things to come, such as basketball and air rifle and <laughs> what have you. Well, good. So, hey, while I got it here, I'm gonna go over the games this week in our region. Sure, please um, do. It's pretty uh, pretty interesting. We've got uh, Coffee County. Uh, who won last week, by the way, in a real game, 20 to 7 over Whitewater. Oh, Whitewater, right. And that's a pretty tough listen. You know, if you're coming home from a football game on a Friday night and listen to the radio, 
you hear Whitewater's name quite a bit. So mm, it's, it's sure a good do. program up there. Um, but they got Ware County this week. Not another slouch. No, not at all, uh, man. Their coach over there is a uh, – Yes. I don't – I get in trouble for saying this, but he's a pretty good guy. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, and if anybody who's got any history with this show knows that I was told years ago that there's no such thing as a good coach, and um, that's because of my officiating for so many years. But, <laughs> um, anyway, so uh, I don't say it often, but he's a pretty good guy. Pretty good guy. Yeah, his father was a uh, an official in the SEC, so gotcha. He's got kind of a soft spot. You know, for officials. That's right. And that's what we like. Hey, listen, there's nothing wrong with that, huh? I'm sorry, I'm messing up my sound, Dan. I apologize. Um, he must it, feed y'all well. I don't even remember. I don't, <laughs> must not, because I'd remember. You'd something. remember that, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Most time, that's what you remember, right? Yeah, mostly, yeah. Um, and then this week, Lowndes has got Luella, which is a school out of uh, Atlanta. They made the playoffs last they year. Did. Luella sure did. did. They sure did. They go on the road there, and the next week they're on the road too in Newton. So they got two away games and then a home game. Um, that's Lowndes, and then we've got Val Duke, a, 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 aka Valdosta. They uh, they played where in their scrimmage, and I don't know how that scrimmage turned out. Have you been and heard anything? You know, I, I I haven't. Um, but they have got a very very good game against Brooks County. Ooh, yeah. A lot of emotion in that a game. It's going to be, I mean, uh, you know, it will be, you know, um, Coach Freeman down there, you know, they lost a kid, what, three kids? I think two. I can't two remember. Two kids. Two kids. One of them made it, I believe. I believe you're right. And uh, you're right. There'll be a lot of uh, a lot of emotion this season for Coach Freeman and those Trojans down there in Brook County. And, uh, of course, our hearts go out to those folks, too. Exactly. It's got to be, I mean, I can't imagine. So, um, Good, good luck to them just even playing this absolutely. season. You know? Absolutely. Uh, anyway, so Brunswick, they will they played last week and lost to Wayne County. Mm -hmm. And they will play Glen Academy this week. Um, is Glen Academy where uh, Keith Goss went to? I believe it may be. Yeah. I'm not sure be. on that, but I'm sure one of our intelligent people out there can let us know that. Sure. But, uh, and then Camden plays Baker County, Florida, mm. coached by Ryan Sokowski. Oh, is that right? Yep. Wow. Well, how about um, that? That'll be in Camden, too. So that, that'll be a pretty interesting that uh, will, deal. That will be. Um, Baker County is pretty good. Man, I'm pulling for them. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, me too. Because not only is he a friend of mine, but, uh, you know, I Listen. just... Hey, he's he's an old Tiftonite, man. He, he was he, he was is. he was a very phenomenal football Listen, player coming through, and you know, just a great family, you know? good family, yeah, <laughs> good football family good, right there, oh, buddy. Football fanatics for sure. Yep, well, um, that's great. And then uh, finally, we got Cockle County, and this might be this is probably on TV. They're playing Hoover, Alabama. No, it this is weekend. on TV. Yeah, it I, is. I, it's going to be uh, it's going to be exciting. I'm sure I will DVR it yep, and yep. Uh, watch it Saturday. Right. Yep. They're going to Hoover to play. Going them to over. Hoover to that's play right. them. So they're probably on a bus right now, oh, knowing Rush Probst. Listen, so you know, and that's, of course that's where Probst came from. That's right. And a little uh, backstory for people who don't know. That's exactly right. And back uh, back in the day, they had a show on MTV called Two a Days, and I loved it. You know, you know, I never watched it. Never watched. Well, it. Well, I mean, you know. My wife's nine years younger than me, or eight <laughs> years younger than. She's younger than me. Okay, and uh, <laughs> so I'm, I mean, like I watched the Video Music Awards the other night, <laughs> and I almost threw up everywhere. But um, Miley Cyrus was—that's what I hear. I, I oh my goodness! Yeah, if you get a chance to YouTube it, don't. Just okay, if you get a chance don't. to, don't. <laughs> yeah, you'll. Yeah, what? What has been seen cannot be unseen. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's true, man. Oh, but um. I forgot where I was at. I threw up in my mouth a little bit, but uh, we uh, <laughs> we were talking about what two a days and rush. Probes. Yeah, two a days. So my wife watches MTV. Like she loves MTV. And uh, see, when I came along, MTV was just strictly music. it was music exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and we watched it to watch videos. Absolutely, it don't matter if we have seen. Dire Straits that, that's uh, 25 exactly, times. That's exactly I mean, right. That's exactly right. Or Madonna or whoever was on there. Hey. We're going to watch it again. MTV was a treat for me because growing up in the sticks where I grew up, <laughs> what was it, Solid Gold, 
Solid oh, gold on Saturday, Saturday nights. night. That, <laughs> hey, that was my treat right there. <laughs> if the antenna Google was right. solid gold if you don't know what that is. <laughs> There's probably some well, see, people. See, I, I didn't get to see AMTV because where I lived, uh, I was, I think it was NBC came out with um, Friday Night Videos. Friday Night mm -hmm. Videos, that's exactly right. So I would stay up. Yep. Uh, I think it was around midnight. Exactly. It was. Midnight. It was. Yeah, it I'd was. stay up and, and watch that. So, because we got like three channels. Yep. That was that's why. That's the way we were. I had cable most of my yeah, life. I can't. I know. You I was kind of spoiled. You weren't raised under privilege like the rest of us. I was spoiled. I'm not arguing that. <laughs> so, anyways, well, um, good. You got anything else? I, you know, it. You know, I really don't, you know, season's kind of getting kicked off. We're trying to get kicked off ourselves. And yeah. It's funny. We come in here. Todd's got two and a quarter sheets of paper. I have the same sheets of paper that he has. <laughs> and we were sitting here like, what are we going to talk about? <laughs> we don't know. We we'll, don't know. We know not, not, not enough's going on That's really a, to. Do we ever know what we're going to talk about? We, we'll make it work. So <laughs> um, before we get out of here, though, I do want to mention, um, we have a nominee for a player spotlight for next week. I, we do. Sure and, do. I'm um, excited about that. Yeah, I'm excited. Um, it's Tiff County's own star quarterback. I sound like Varsity Blues. Um, Wedge. Wedgeworth. That's exactly right. I, I don't know Wedge's first name. Ryan. Ryan, I'm sorry. Ryan Wedgeworth. And uh, I know him as Wedge, right. so that's yeah. what I'm going to call him. Listen, he looks like a Wedge sometimes <laughs> cutting across that field, I tell yeah, you. Yeah, so... Um, he was nominated by somebody, and uh, we're going to maybe hopefully get Track him, him down and, and maybe do uh, an interview with him and maybe have it ready by next week. Are you working Monday? <laughs> <laughs> so um, hopefully we'll have all that ready, and we're going to get some footage together. So um, we encourage you to, to go to our website, Tiff County Devil's Lair, L-A-I-R, um, and nominate a, a student athlete. You know whether it's football, basketball, baseball. Right. It doesn't. It matter. doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're we're here to to highlight all of them. So um, go to that website. It's a, an awesome website. You can look at past shows and that kind of stuff. But um, you know, Randy, I, I just another thought just came to my mind. I, I failed to mention this too. Talking about players and going to college. How about Todd Jackson, Georgia Tech? Certainly. Yeah. We you know. I tell you, I can't go without mentioning him. That's big. Yeah, guy. he signed with Georgia Tech, and congratulations to yeah, him. Absolutely. He's got that behind him going into basketball season. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. So, you know, um, I think he'll, you know, do well up there. Yeah, I'm sure he will. He's got – he's loaded with talent. Absolutely. So, um, so good. Anybody else you know of going I to – I can't – you know, I know we um, – uh, Libby Barber, she's going on a gymnastics scholarship to a college up in New York, I believe it is. Mm -hmm. Um so shout out to Libby and her family for that. Um, you know, I know there's some others, but we'll try to get a list of those that we can kind of yeah. come up with, and um, certainly shout out to them and congratulate them because that's yep. uh, well deserved. That's right. So, anyways, well, you want to check out? We'll see you guys at the game um, Friday night. Friday night, come see us. Yep. Be looking for a big crowd. Out right. There should be we'll winds be. will get people in the stands. So. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, uh, We'll uh, we'll be there to cheer them on, yeah, definitely. And uh, you know, if you, if you would like, we have uh, go visit our website. There's a ton of information on there. Um, Twitter account is Devil's Lair One. Uh, TC Devil's Lair One. It's Devil's Lair One, ain't it? I set it up. I don't look. It's Devil's Lair. It's already <laughs> saved. So Devil's Lair One, and then TC Devil's Lair on Instagram. Uh, we'll try to snap a few pictures at the game and post that and whatnot. Um, we're on Facebook at, we got a page on there called uh, The Devil's Lair. TC Devil's Lair. <laughs> TC Devil's Lair. I can't keep up with all these acronyms. That's what you got me for. <laughs> exactly. So, um, a lot of information out there and we need more. So, send it to us. Please do. Um, we, we're only as good as you guys. <laughs> the information you get us. That's right. That's exactly right. So, all right, Todd, I guess we'll get out of here. We That's will uh, be back next week, every week, every Tuesday night, 7-ish. 7-ish. <laughs> yes. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll get out of here for now. We'll see you next week. With that, fear the pitchfork. Go Big Blue.
of the Narrow Media Network. Your reality, distorted. For other great shows, be sure to check out anero.tv.